Hey guys, Paradox here, and today I have a package from thecubicle.us that has a couple of cool new 3x3s, so let's check them out. Alright, so here we have some cool new 3x3s, Kung Fu, I don't know how to pronounce its actual name, I think it's Ching Hong, uh, let me just show you guys. So that's the name of it. It's a new brand that just came out uh, called Kung Fu, they've also come out with two new 4x4s and a 2x2, so they're debuting quite a few new basic speed cubes. Also we've got here what I believe is a Yushin Fire, so uh, you can tell it looks pretty cool with that creature on the front so and also this is the Yushin water so I guess we can just start with the Kung Fu 3x3 so let's get that out of the box it's an interesting looking box it's not very enclosed but uh it works so let's just open this up let's get into first turns interesting this is actually pretty good. It has smooth turning to it, and it's like slightly snappy when when it corner cuts. Like you can probably tell by what it sounds like, but um, it's it's actually very good, and it reverse corner cuts a decent amount as well. I don't know. I just really like it. I'm very fluid when I turn this. So this cube is about half the price of most of Moyu's three x threes, and it has a very good performance. I actually really like it out of the box. Next, let's take a quick gander at the Yushin Fire 3x3. This cube actually came out a while ago. It's supposed to be a budget 3x3 and sort of in competition to the YJ Guanlong. Okay, first turns, what the? Uh, that was extremely stiff at the start and it, and it just really broke in. It feels like this cube is super old, like the lube just froze inside of it until I turned it and it just started to work. Like it was, it felt like a Rubik's brand at the start. And now it's starting to feel more like a speed cube. That was, that was a weird feel. Okay, so it feels a little blocky. Like actually it feels very blocky. You can definitely tell that this is a budget through right there because of the type of plastic it's made out of. It's cheap plastic. The color is lighter than uh, higher quality through right through, like this Kung Fu through right through. Um, next, let's take a quick look at the Yushin Water. This is a new 3x3. It's like an updated version of the Yushin Fire. They managed to shave off a whole dollar off the Yushin Fire. So I didn't have the fire, so I had to get it so I could compare them. And so here they are. They look pretty much identical from the outside. First turns for the Yushin Water. It definitely has a cool name, but it's a performance that really matters. So let's evaluate that. It feels sandy, like very dry and sandy. So for the Yushin water, I'd say it feels more like a Guanlong, but it's not as good as a Guanlong. It feels like a Guanlong because it has a dry feeling that, and it also has a lot of resistance when you turn it compared to the Yushin fire, which has less resistance. So it feels actually more lubed and uh, as if it has better lube in it. The Yushin Fire is also tighter, so when you turn it, it gives you a blocky feeling because it's a little harder to corner cut. I'm going to be making a more in-depth uh, comparison between the Yushin Water and Fire. Let me know if I should include the Guanlong in that comparison as well, so I can make a little budget through right through comparison. That's the main reason I got these two, so I could compare them in a, in a separate video. And for the Kung Fu through right through, I'm actually very surprised by this. It's super, super good. Um, I'm probably going to make, I'm definitely actually going to make a separate review on this because I really, really like it. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little unboxing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.